People look at you strange saying you changed, like you worked that hard to stay the same, like you're doing all this for a reason. Welcome to episode 104 of Boxes in the Basement. And as you can see, we are back in the basement. This is just an unboxing of the Nike GT Cut 2, Arike Ogunbowale. I am a fan of hers. She's a phenomenal basketball player. She's from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, played at University of Notre Dame. It's a game winning shots, back to back game winning shots to win a national championship some time ago. And she plays WNBA in Dallas. I'm just going to get into some talking pieces because this is the unboxing. I did go true to size with size 11. I went up half a size in some of the previous colorways and after you break it in and the space is out, it was too much room and I didn't want to double socket or put an extra insole in, especially with this drop-in midsole. So I just stuck with the size 11. And this is a woman's shoe, so you have to go a size and a half up if you want true to size or two sizes up if you want a little bit more room. I'm a narrow footer, true to size, TTS, so that's what I went with. So just some quick talking pieces, like I said, with this unboxing, as you can see, it's like an orange, it's all orange, but it's an iridescent film or tint to the sole, as well as the back TPU heel unit, which helps with that containment. But even though this is an all orange shoe, there are different oranges. It looks like there appears to be different oranges just because of the different materials, but it's one orange canvas. All right, so heel to toe transition. Like I said, you got that TPU back for the heel containment. And then it has a skyline of Dallas along the back and then her number as well as Kobe Bryant because she was a fan of Kobe's as well and her name on back. And I don't mind supporting love to WNBA players because they are phenomenal and talented as well as players in the NBA. There's nothing added to it, it's just a regular Nike GT Cut 2, but you can see with some colorways, you can kind of actually see the design. With the darker colorways, it's a little bit more hidden. With those light colorways, you can kind of see things jump out or even the underlay underneath of the shoe. Has that Voigt Volt or Lime Yellow swoosh, that Nike check right there on the inside. I know there's some inverted ones. I think the Travis Scott editions that PJ Tucker wore was an inverted check and then the Devin Booker's is a jumbo swoosh, but this is just a regular basic ones. And I wanted to get this silhouette because I don't have a bright or brighter all orange silhouette shoe in my closet. Kind of see the iridescent on the toe as well. Has the same grooves as a smear technology and you can see the iridescent in the smear technology. And in some of the shoes, the toe traction area, the patterns are the same, but it's a different colorway than this smear technology. I thought it was a gum sole at first online, but it's like an orange clear translucent gum sole. So the translucent with the aerodescent gives it a nice little spin of nice little mix. Nice. If this isn't real leather, I would assume that it was, but if it's imitation leather, it's close to real leather as possible. And eyelids, tongue, everything is the same. And I did show someone not too long ago, the drop in missile, cause they were asking me the difference. So I know that they wear a lot of Vapor Maxes and they were saying it would be cool to get a performance shoe or basketball shoe that's like a Vapor Max. But just insert, I think the drop in midsole, it's one of them things like at first I didn't like it and I said in a couple of my reviews I didn't like it, but I do like it. It's just, I don't like how it broke in if you don't get the right size. So getting the right size, it will break in and mold to your foot. So that drop in midsole, I had showed them and it has that zoom pocket on the heel to help with the impact absorption. And then it has air zoom along the whole bottom of it. So it has the air zoom strobe board along the whole bottom of it. I don't know if you can see that indentation or impression goes through the whole bottom of the shoe. So that gives you that. Sitting on this gives you the extra comfort that you need. For the Kobe Bryant, dropping midsoles is the first time Nike released that and now they're spinning off and doing it with some other shoes. And with this one, I just think it's a phenomenal shoe to continue that legacy. Nike GT Cut 2, Arike Ogunbowale. Between her and Giannis Antetokounmpo, I'm getting my vernaculars together for the last names. All in all, they're phenomenal talents. So stay tuned for the next Boxes in the Basement, episode 104. Take care.